Saquon Barkley, sorry if this is going to be just continue. Saquon Barkley is the entire New York Giants offense, and I just don't see Daniel Jones being able to do enough in this game. I, I, I think the Ravens get an early lead, and they hold on to it. Lamar Jackson, I'm going to love his stats in this one. I'll probably take him for an anytime TD. I'll probably look at his passing and rushing yards combined. I, I, I like a lot of props in NFL Sundays. I always debate how much to put in here, how much of that you guys want to see in these videos. Should I make a separate video during the week of just all the prop bets I want? because it, uh, Or I like, not that I want, sorry, that I like and I'm going to bet on. Would you guys want to see a separate video of that? Let me know. Hit in the comment section, whatever, on any of my socials. You can let me know if that's what you want to see, and I will bring it for you guys. I like Ravens on the money line. Ravens minus five and a half on this one, although I lean like... And remember, I don't play every single game on the slate. I give you guys predictions, what I think is going to happen in every game, but I don't bet every game. This is going to be an in-game betting for me, except for the Ravens on the money line, but it probably won't pay much being a 5.5 point favorite, so it'll lead to in-game betting for sure. But I am going to say Baltimore minus 5.5, even though I wouldn't surprise me if this is a little bit closer than I think because of the Giants' defense has been playing well this year as well. Tampa Bay minus 9.5 at Pittsburgh, plus 9.5, over under set at 46. Road teams 5 and 1 against spread their last six meetings. Bucks are 1 and 5 against spread their last six meetings. Tampa's won six straight road games overall. And TJ Watt, wow, what a difference that has made for the Steelers' defense. They had, what, five, seven sacks in the first game, and they've had like three since in the, in the next four, three or four games. Just a dramatic difference. Brady's 12 and 3 straight up in 11 4 against spread in his career versus Pittsburgh. I, I think Pickett's going to throw more than one interception. I'm definitely going to be all over that prop. I, I just Pittsburgh, Buffalo destroyed them last week. Even though the Bucs haven't been that impressive, they're getting healthier now. Tom Brady is their quarterback. I, I just, I'm going to lay these points. Bucks minus 9.5 and, and on the money line. This is a stay away game for me unless you do want to lay that 9.5, which. I don't know if I'm actually going to or not in my bets. That's a game I'm really hesitating on. I, I usually like between four and six games a week that I'll, I'll play most of my money on. And then I'll just do smaller bets. And every week I do play a, a 12 to 16 team little one to five dollar ticket on with 12 to 16 teams i'll play like three or four of these tickets a week and it, it pays large even a one dollar bet you can get up to pay like twenty five hundred four thousand dollars on a one dollar bet and i'll play anywhere between like one and one and five dollars on on multiple of these bets because you never know you might get a good week Carolina plus 10 at LA to play the Rams, who are 10 point home favorites. 41.5 is the total set on this one. Favorites 3 0 1 against spread their last four verse. Panthers are 6 2 and 1 against spread their last nine meetings. Home team 7 3 and 1 against spread their last 11. Carolina's 1 11 straight up their last 12 overall and 0 and 5 against spread on the road. Rams are 1 6 against spread their last seven overall and 1 and 5 against spread at home. This game just says stay away. Uh, Panthers fired rule their coach. They got a new coach, and you never know what that's going to do for a team. I, I think the Rams are hands down the better team. No questions about it. I don't know if Cooper Cup's going to have a breakout in the Rams offense. This is their breakout game against a horrible Carolina Panthers team. Or does Carolina sort of bounce back? So I'm going to roll in between on this. I'm going to say Rams on the money line. Panthers cover that big number, but it wouldn't be... Uh, the least bit surprising to me if the Rams blow them out like 35-17, 35-10, something like that, 35-14. But, but a close game wouldn't surprise me either. Hold on, i got to yell at my dog. Cookie, get down. Off of there. Sorry about that, guys. Next up, we got Arizona at Seattle. Arizona, two and a half point road favorites in this one. The over-under set at 50.5. Cards are 6-1 and one against spread their last 7 games in Seattle. Underdogs 11-2-1 against spread their last 14 meetings. Road teams 11-3-1 against spread their last 15 against each other. Cardinals are 7-3-1 against spread their last 11 verse. Arizona's 10-2 against spread their last 12 games overall. Kingsbury's 9-17-1 and and straight up and 10-17 and against the spread at home in his career. But on the road, this is crazy to me. He's 17 and 11 straight up on the road, 19, 7 and 2 against the spread on the road. 
for his coaching career with the Cards. That's just mind-boggling. How are you not better at home than on the road? Anyways, maybe it's because of all the scrutiny they get and all the bullshit they put out in their press conferences and whether they study the playbooks hard enough, et cetera, et cetera. I do like Arizona in this one. I think Arizona showed me a lot of fight last week. Their backup field goal kicker blew that fucking 41-yarder to tie the game against my Eagles, who remain unbeaten. Fly, Eagles, fly, baby. Fucking beautiful this year. I fucking love it because they're so deep and good on both lines. And you win football games in the trenches. Doesn't matter who your quarterback is. If he has no time to throw, you're not winning a fucking football game. Look at all of Tom Brady's down years. They're when his own line was either beat up or not very good or a combination of the two. And every year he's had a solid O-line. He sits and picks you apart like the Hall of Famer he is. I think the Cards win this game going away. I, I think they beat Seattle. Uh, not going away. I think they win by like three to six points in this game. And I think it could go over the total as quite often these two teams it feels like they do. Buffalo Bills at Kansas City Chiefs. This might be the game of the week. For me, it's Dallas Philly on Sunday night primetime, but it, I'm, I'm going to have my eyes on this fucking game too. I'm glad they don't play at the same time. I'm glad it's spread out. I wish this game was the Monday nighter while the Eagles-Cowboys were the Sunday nighter, but it is what it is. Great matchup in this one. Bills, two and a half point road favorites in Kansas City to play the Chiefs. Over under at 54 in this one. Over is hitting five of the last six these two have played each other. Bills are 2-6 and six against spread their last 8 versus Kansas City. The road team's 9-4 and four against spread their last 13 meetings. Bills are 9-2 and two straight up their last 11 games overall. Kansas City's 15-3 straight up their last 18 overall. Mahomes is 7-0-1 against spread in his career as an underdog. And this is the first time in his career he's been a home underdog. Mahomes has... Mahomes is 3-1 and one straight up and against spread versus the Bills in his four starts against them. And he's 8-1 and one straight up and 7-2 and two against spread versus teams allowing 17 points per game or fewer. His only straight up loss in those situations happens to be against the Buffalo Bills who only allow, what is it, 12 point something fucking points per game or whatever. Oh, if I said yards per game, I meant points per game under 17 points per game. I apologize if I fucked that up. I still think Kansas City wins us at home. I cannot not play Patrick Mahomes at home as an underdog when he's proven he can beat the Bills and the Bills are predicted to be able to beat the Chiefs. But until they actually fucking do it, I am not going against Kansas City who has dominated the AFC since Mahomes came into the league. I am picking Kansas City 31-28 in this one which means they are definitely covering the spread as an underdog, and they are going to cash on the money line. Two games left. I'm going to skip to the Monday Nighter because you all know I like doing my Eagles games at the end of my videos. Denver, plus 4.5 at LA to face the Chargers. In LA to face the Chargers, who are 4.5 point home favorites. Over under 45.5 on this one. The home team's 5-0 and against spread. Under is 8-1 and the last 9 meetings in LA. Broncos are 2-7 and straight up their last 9 overall. Denver's 12-5 straight up their last 17 versus LA Chargers. Broncos are 0-5 against spread on the road overall. Chargers are 8-3 against spread last 11 versus the AFC West. Herbert, over 1.5 TD passes, over 260.5 passing yards. I like Mike Williams for an anytime TD. I think the Chargers win this game. Denver's showing me nothing all year. And until they do, I'm going to continue to hammer against them. Uh, Chargers money line. Chargers minus four and a half. I think they win this game by 10, 14 points. I think Herbert and Williams get on point together. Williams has had, what, two 100-yard games in a row. He's had three out... 300 yard plus receiving yard games out of the five games they played so far this year, which is huge without Allen in the lineup. I like the Chargers to win this one. And and a note about two games on the schedule this week. Teams coming off a road game in a party city, quote unquote. New Orleans, Vegas, Miami, LA, and Atlanta would be those party cities. Are 3-9-1 against spread this year. Seattle and Dallas fit into those categories this week, and I am against both of them on the money line. 
but only one of them on the spread. Dallas, plus six and a half at Philadelphia to face the Eagles, who are six and a half point home favorites. Over under set at 42 on this one. Home team is six and one against spread their last seven bursts. Dallas is seven and two against spread their last nine meetings and seven and three against spread their last 10 in Philadelphia. Favorite is 10 and three against spread their last 13 meetings. Boys are seven and two straight up their last 10 their last nine versus the Eagles. I don't know where my math came into effect where seven and two equals 10, but anyways, they're seven and two in their last nine. Dallas is six and zero against spread their last six road games. Eagles five and zero straight up on the year. Boys are four and one on the year. Uh, Hertz has won eight straight starts in the regular season starts. That is, that's the longest current streak by any QB in the NFL. And we all know that Cooper Rush